So we, we know that this kind of very traumatic experience will have long-term effects, probably lifelong effects. Um, I believe that Mr. Al-Nashiri has been irreversibly damaged by this torture um, that was really designed to break him. In fact, in, in my experience of treating torture survivors for over 20 years, he's one of the most traumatized individuals that, that I've met. Um, I can tell you that he does have symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. He has nightmares, um, which the content are classified, but I can say are related to his torture. He has flashbacks, which are triggered frequently by reminders of torture. I've really been struck by how profoundly his trust in humanity has been fractured. This interferes with his ability to interact with, with all people, including counsel, doctors, other detainees, even his family members. Um, we know that this kind of torture, which produces... PTSD, even complex PTSD in Mr. al Nashiri, um, causes actual structural and functional changes in the brain that I believe in this case um, are probably irreversible. 